Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm preparing mustard fried tilapia. My ingredients are four tilapia fillets, mustard, hot sauce, half of a lemon, onion powder, paprika, Old Bay, accent, parsley, oregano, and Louisiana fish fry. The first step in prepping your tilapia is to clean your fish with lemons under cold water. Then pat your fillets dry with a paper towel to remove all the moisture on the outside of your fish. In a small bowl, you're going to dump in all of your ingredients. We're going to add our wet ingredients first. Our hot sauce, mustard, and we're going to squeeze in half of a lemon. Make sure you remove all your seeds from your lemon. Next, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. Old Bay, parsley, paprika, accent, oregano, and onion powder. We're going to combine all these ingredients to form a paste to go on the outside of our fillets. Now I'm pouring my mixture on the fillets. I'm going to rub in these ingredients giving my fish an outer layer of flavor. It'll be an added seasoning to the fish fry. Rub in all these seasonings on each side of your fish to make sure that your fish is flavorful. This paste should enhance the fish flavor. Now I'm gonna coat the fish with my Louisiana fish fry. 
On a separate plate, I already have my fish fry ready. I'm going to place my fish on top of the fish batter and coat each side of my filet with the fish fry. And then I'm going to shake off any excess seasonings. I'm going to continue these steps until all of my filets are fully coated. There are a lot of ways to coat your fish with the fish fry. Some people use a Ziploc bag, they pour in their fish fry and then place in their tilapia and shake well until your fish is fully coated. But not me! <laughs> This fish fry leaves a nice breading. You can use it on whatever you want to use this fish fry on, like okra, shrimp, green tomatoes, and even zucchini. But I never tried this fish fry with chicken. Maybe I should make another video using this fish fry on chicken to let y'all know how it turns out. Now we're getting close to the frying process. I'm gonna coat this last piece of fish and then we'll be ready to fry. Heat up vegetable oil in your cast iron skillet. Once your oil is hot enough, place in two fillets at a time. Let each fillet cook for five minutes on each side or until golden brown. Depending on the size of your fillets, you want to make sure they're fully cooked. To avoid undercooked fish, cut a piece of the thickest section of the fish to make sure it's white and flaky on the inside. If you still can't tell if your tilapia is fully cooked, another way to identify if your fish is done is when it starts floating to the top.
Louisiana fish fry is mighty tasty. Every time I use this fish fry, my fillets are fried perfectly with a crispy, flaky crust. I would recommend any and everybody to use Louisiana fish fry. I've tried a lot of fish fries, but my fish never turns out as perfectly as this Louisiana fish fry. My alarm is an indicator to let me know when my five minutes is up and I need to flip over my tilapia. This mustard fried tilapia was served with some garden collard greens, two homemade rolls, with a side of homemade dipping sauce for the fillets. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye. Now, let's get straight into the bloopers, baby. All my videos are not as perfect as I try to make them seem, but I'm going to let y'all know that I have a little bit of flaws in my videos. Stay tuned. Normally, when I fry fish after cleaning, I sit my fish in cold water until I remove them, pat them dry, coat them, and apply the fish fry. In this case, I removed all of my fish out of the cold water, patted them dry, coated them with the fish fry, and fried the first batch, and the second batch set out. By the time I fried the second batch, the coating was slightly rising off of the fish. Even minor mistakes will cause your recipe to fail. Just imagine if I only had two fillets. That would have been recording time wasted. My gloves are extremely loud when I record, so I try to mute the sound when I'm recording my videos. Let's check it out. My last blooper was when my bright light lamp failed. 
I mean, it just echoed throughout the whole house. I thought it was 30, but I guess it wasn't. 